Well, this morning, thousands of carpenters are back on the job after 13 days of hitting the picket lines for better wages. Fox 13's Brian Flores live in Seattle with that agreement that was reached. Hi, Brian. Hi, Liz. Yeah, uh, certainly good news for the uh, carpenters because they're back on the job uh, later on today, but also for these businesses and companies that really need these buildings uh, to be completed. But as you mentioned, three weeks of picket picket lines for the Northwest Carpenters Union, uh, but they have reached an agreement as of this morning. Uh, the union does represent 12,000 workers in our state that they've been asking for a cost of living pay hike, better benefits, and parking reimbursements near certain work sites. According to the union, some of the details of the this new agreement include a 15 and a half percent wage increase over three years, retro pay back to June 1st, as well as expanding parking zones in the First Hill neighborhood of Seattle and Bellevue as well. Uh, we know that in previous discussions there was a 20 percent wage increase over four years that was put on the table. You also recall just uh, last week or two weeks ago it got a little messy as well as a couple um, a couple of unsanctioned union non-union members threatened people and destroyed property. The union uh, had to step in and call for it to stop and distance themselves from this group. But the headline today is that the unions and AGC, uh, the Association of General Contractors, has reached an agreement. We are expecting a press conference at 9 30 this morning for more details on this agreement this morning. Guys, back over to you.